Hey guys, I'm visiting another covered bridge today. This is the Whittier Bridge in Ossipee, New Hampshire. It was built in 1870, one of New Hampshire's few surviving 19th century covered bridges. And it said they used a rare example of what they called paddle forward truss. Um, that's the truss system they, they built this with. Um, it was listed on National Register of Historic Places in 1984, closed to vehicular traffic in 1989, and it was actually removed from its footings for restoration in 2008. Um, as of tw September 2019, it was actually resting at um, just a, you know, not, it wasn't spanning the river, it was moved and just resting on land but it was just placed back here on, on its new um, abutments and everything in the late fall of 2022. So just last year, they had finished all the restoration with the, you know, the footings and everything and the road just to, you know, pedestrian traffic, no, no just foot traffic, no cars or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so the bridge itself, is let's see the total length they say is 137 feet seven inches and a clear span of 114 feet um yeah so it's a it's a pretty big bridge actually and it was moved a couple times i guess and restored um but um yeah so just within the last year so it was september i believe exactly it was september or it says late, actually it says late fall of 2022 when it was actually placed back here again. And the reason why they, they didn't want cars driving it over anymore, because people would try to take this route to avoid heavy traffic, um, especially during, you know, vacation months, summer vacation, things like that. And, you know, a lot of times you get backups and you wouldn't think way up here, you think you're in the middle of nowhere, but you, you get a lot of traffic, but you do. And, and the, the issue wasn't really cars driving on it. The issue was backups and cars having to sit there and wait. And that's the thing they were concerned about. So you didn't want to have to restore it, place it back there and have, you know, thousands of cars, you know, driving through here and, you know, and all the weight of the cars sitting on it. So what I'm going to do, I'll drop a link for you if you want any more information on it. But, uh, I'll uh, take a walk around, take show you the outside, show you the inside, and as many details as I possibly can. So I'll give you a look from the sides here. Nice slow moving river here. It's a beautiful area. But they said at one time it was all closed and then they decided to open up the section on the sides there. That's a, that's a pretty good sized bridge. What's nice, they, you know, did all the construction here, rebuilt everything, the road leading to it, new railings, really nice. And right here, just some signs about, that looks like it's been there forever, but about nighttime closure and how you could be fined. And all. I don't know if that still applies, but maybe that applied to when it was open to vehicles. I'm not sure. <laughs> But it looks like uh, that's been there for a while. So let's um, take a look at this right here. It's a Whittier Covered Bridge. Built in 1870. Restoration completed 1983. And dedicated to the memory of Nancy Shelton Pope. By Gordon A. Pope, family and friends. Now the state of New Hampshire, August 20th, 1983. Can you see that right there? beautiful just the smell of this old wood and you can see obviously these are all new the beams and the uh, boards are going across the floor but let's just take a look at this framing they actually do have uh, fire um, alarms um, connected to it a, a system so that in case there's a fire or anything and so they really do try to protect it but it is funny, even being outdoors, you really get the odor. And if anyone's been around like old, really old timbers, like in a barn or something, you know what I'm talking about. Really strong odor. You could see some of the newer boards they connected up there. Well, newer, that's been, that, that's years ago, of course. But, but look at these beams. 
Look how they're kind of bolted, sandwiched together. That arch all the way down both sides. It's massive. That's incredible. I mean, take a look. We've got one of these two by, it's got to be two by 12. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of them bolted together. You can tell the, the newer bolts, obviously, part of the restoration, but you look at these older, these older uh, bolts through here. And all sandwiched together and bolted. You see the rods here to hold it down to make this massive, massive arch. Boy, that's a lot of work. Just think about that, what that took to do that and to create that arch <laughs> with all those boards. That's unbelievable. And you look how they had to cross these timbers and they notched them. Wow. Absolutely incredible. And I guess this truss system, again, they say it's the, the paddle forward and it, apparently it's very rare um, that it was ever used. You know, obviously the newer construction leading to it, new rails and everything, really, really nice job here. I love those old boards. Let's see what this, we got some signage out here. Same thing, it's a Whittier covered bridge will be closed during the nighttime. Nighttime is defined as the hours. One half hour after sunset to one half hour before sunrise. Area to be controlled by this ordinance, the bridge itself. Its approaches as well as the area under the bridge shall be violation. This ordinance anytime above areas during the nighttime except for the time limited amount of time necessary to pass from one side of the bridge to the other. Penalty for violation. This ordinance is a fine. Wow, recommended fines. First offense, 50 bucks. Second, 250. Third, wow, 1,000. How about that? Historic monument, please. Maintain cleanliness and refrain from disfiguring timbers. It's good. They really try to protect it. Letting you know, don't mess with it. But boy, that, that is really something. Just get a really good look if you're into this kind of thing. Again, the notches, these cross members here. And that's awesome. Now there, right there you see how it's like a wooden peg going through instead of a nail or a bolt. That's something. Look at the other side of it. That's definitely old school right there. Wow. It's just amazing. And all up top there too. There are some bolts here and there, but it's mostly like those, those uh, pegs or you call them dowels. I'm just amazed the size of these arches and the amount of wood it took to do this. And you can see, of course, the newer bolts they had to use in the restoration. But for the most part, it's original. Of course, these beams and everything are newer. Wow. the other
beautiful. All right, I'm going to give you another view on this side. Again, all the new construction here, newer. You can see the arches, where those arches are coming down right there. Beautiful old barn boards. Again, <laughs> it sounds odd, but it's just that odor. You can smell that old wood. Let's take a look at some beams underneath. And most of those look original to me. See how dark they are? Beautiful slow moving river here. These, I guess, when the arches come down, they must be set. Well, those look, just look like they end right there. Yeah, I thought they were set into the concrete. They're not. They just sit, which is uh, that's pretty interesting. Because as tight as they are, and you you tap that, you can feel that it's still there's still some movement there, which is maybe that it's it's made like that for a reason. Maybe somebody could tell me about that. I thought for some reason that it would be like mounted into the, the concrete, but it's absolutely not. Huh, that's something you wouldn't think. It would just be setting there, but it does. mostly because they're held in by these beams here and they're bolted and they have the through the rods going through all the way up hmm that's interesting bolted right here just wanted to give you a little look on how exactly they connected all this stuff and you can see all the wires for again fire alarms and electricity and that's good that they do that keep everything protected didn't do all that uh, restoration for nothing, right? So you gotta protect it. Back in the day, it would have burned down in minutes. But yeah, just getting a nice underneath look here. See how everything connects. All right, I think I showed you everything I could show you. Um, just a beautiful area, of course. You have the mountains and these rivers. We'll give you a lot another look right here. Nice little walk through to end the video. And um, <laughs> I had mentioned in another video. Um, New Hampshire has, from what I read. We have about 60 covered bridges still in existence. I don't know if I can visit all of them this summer, maybe into the fall. Maybe I can. There's quite a few of them that are near me. Like this, you know, I say it's near me, it's within an hour. But um, I'll do the best I can to catch a look at some more of these. You know, New Hampshire's not a huge state. And I can find them. And there's spots where there's famous areas uh, where, you know, specific bridges once stood. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that would be as interesting. But yeah. So anyway, this is the Whittier Bridge in Ossipee, New Hampshire. If you get a chance to visit up here, uh, you know, it's well worth it. You know, it's, it's a beautiful area. A lot of campgrounds up here, of course. And uh, if you live up here, you know what I'm talking about. It's just... Uh, endless beauty so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll drop some links for you if you want to read some more about it um and i again i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you soon take care